Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Today's video is going to be the 15th prompt, which is paint, of the Make a Tag a Day in February challenge, which is the hashtag JJ Tag a Day. Um, this is an open challenge. Uh, feel free to hop in whenever you're inspired to do so. Um, you can do one, do them all, doesn't matter. There's no rules, just have fun with it. All I ask is you just use the hashtag when you're sharing on social media so we can all see your creations and be inspired by yours. So as I said, we made it through half, we made it through half of them. Um, now we're on paint. Okay, so let's see i have grabbed out some paints here and i just kind of honestly grabbed whatever was there because i really don't have a whole lot of plan but i put some of these paints and these are all just acrylic paints from master's touch uh sampiria and artist loft which i believe the master's touch might be michael's or joanne's or hobby lobby same with this one i'm not sure exactly where i got them from but those are the acrylic paints that I'm using. I'm just going to pop them back in the drawer here so that they're not in my way. I grabbed my splatter brush from Tim Holtz. We also have our mark making brush from Tracy. Um, Timeless makes on Instagram. So we might play with that. Um, let's see here. Get that back up there. I have some water and I just, I saved my plastic and this here had like buttons in it or something. And so I just use that for a paint paint tray. So, okay, kind of don't have a plan, just kind of want to play. But I did think that I wanted to try, I'm going to use this for, we're going to make like painty papers. I'm sorry, my nails and my hands are gross, you guys. I Just their ink and yuck, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I have my masking tape here and I was thinking that I wanted this this can be completely, I wasn't even going to show you because I don't know if this is what we're going to do or not, but I like that these two are on there. And you know how they kind of give off that like old kind of vibe? We're, we're going to, we're going to change that is what my thoughts are. So I was thinking we could just, because I like to see a little bit of that. I want to, I want to see it's old. I don't know how, what I'm ex trying to explain here. But I want to see, but I want to add the color and the brightness on top of it. So I just want to give myself, this is six inches tall here. So I'm just going to use my masking tape and I'm going to try and get that straight, but it's hard to see. Okay, so we're just, I'm going to do rectangles and then I'm going to cut those out for on, um, on our tags. I'm thinking we might do two here. There will be drawing time in this video and stuff too, so I know that. Okay, so let's just eyeball where we think the center looks like it might be. Um, actually, actually, this is kind of important, I guess. I don't want it to be wider because I want the border on the same side. So I have to go, I want about three inches, so... on both of them so I'm gonna have to measure from the other side as well we're just gonna kind of go right there and assume that that's about three inches wide I know this one's not going to be yeah it is actually it's pretty close okay win I'm just gonna give that same border across the bottom similar we might distress it if it's off you know that's what we'll probably do uh, because then that hides that and I did a really good job of putting this on this, um, my background here straight, didn't I? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's supposed to drive me nuts like this. I hope it doesn't bug you guys. Um, we could try to peel that whole thing off, but we're not going to. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of water into my acrylic paints here. Not much. I'm going to add a little bit of water. We could use watercolor paper, but I kind of liked this paper and it was laying there, so... That well, why not? Um, I think, like I said, we're gonna be drying here, so what do we want to do? We're just gonna play, we're gonna go for it, okay? And I'm just gonna bring paint in here and there, wherever. Oh, that's a pretty blue, isn't it? Okay, 
this paintbrush falls apart, the paint on there is what these little black things are. So I always seem to grab those ones. This one does as well. All right, we're just going to deal with them. I guess if it becomes art, it becomes art. <laughs> it's the paint off the paintbrush. I really don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm just kind of adding colors. Um, I'm making them pretty wet so they kind of move and I love that yellow. When it mixes, it'll mix other colors, you know. Now this brown, I'm not too sure about. This is a burnt sienna. Um, make it pretty wet here. We're just gonna go with it. That's what I grabbed. So basically, we're just playing with paint on paper. <laughs> See what we can come up with. Okay, now I'm gonna try something here. Well, actually, let's finish what we were doing. Cover that. That didn't get washed out at all, did it? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, that's all right. It's all good. It's kind of a gray turquoise now, but that's all right. I hope you guys are all doing good today. You guys get some crafting time in. I don't know, I think, do we pretty much have it covered, I think? Okay, I'm going to set that aside for right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this as just a dry baby wipe. And I want to carefully see if I can pick. And some of this will transfer onto the other colors, but I'm just picking the water off of it. And maybe leaving a little bit of an impression of fabric you know, from the napkin, but some of it's drier than others, but see how it kind of, I don't, I don't know, it kind of blends it. I guess it doesn't really blend it. It just kind of mixes it all together. I guess it's another way of saying blend really, but this part of it, I just like the texture that I'm going to get from that. And so it's kind of like washed out faded color, if that makes sense, is kind of what I was going for. And then these are really fun to let dry too and then stamp on them and use as backgrounds. Now, like I said, this we're gonna have to dry that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe any of the water on that tape on the edge there, just so it doesn't get back in my tag. Okay, I'm gonna peel it off here or not. I don't know if it's too wet, will that Um, I'm just going to peel it off, that way it'll, I think it'll dry quicker. Depending on the masking tape you're using, you're going to get some underneath. Um, I, that's fine by me. I mean, it's just cheap masking tape that I'm using. It's not any really quality tape or like it is isn't watercolor paper or anything either it's just scrapbook paper designer paper so I think it looks cool already and I do like you I don't know if you guys can see I'll kind of hold it up here so you can try to see but I do like that you can see a little bit of that um the of the font behind it oops sorry so okay so there we have our colors aren't they cool I wasn't sure about that orangey burnt sienna color, but I think it, it's the color that kind of just works with them, I think. <laughs> I hope. Um, we could splatter this too. Let's go ahead and do that so that can dry too. Um, to be honest, I don't really use this 
that often. That's the Tim Holtz one. But what color do we want splattered? I'm feeling like maybe the orange. Or gold. We didn't use gold. Let's use gold. I didn't even realize we didn't use that one. Okay, I'm just going to mix that up. Get it really liquidy. It's overflowing into the other ones and everything else, and that's completely fine. I don't know. This brush, I don't... I wish I would have done this before I peeled the tape up. Yeah, that's why, right there. <laughs> okay, I guess we went really, really splattery, but it, the prompt is paint, so let's splatter. Let's get paint. Okay. I don't know about that, but... I'm going to set it over here to dry just for a few seconds and then we'll bring that back and while we're waiting for that to dry I do have a video if you search I think it was one of Roxy's weekly challenge videos from last year um she does swatches like color swatches or paint swatches and this I found this in my tag bases and so you can just simply use this you know just take your water this was watercolor I think and you can just go ahead and let's show you just do a little tiny one with our scraps here that colors that we have so we don't waste them this brush is a little big for this tag i think but um just put down a little blob of color you know any color you want any medium any paint watercolor acrylic it doesn't really matter It's just fun. I'm not cleaning my brush entirely out because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, what color do we want on there with that? Let's do the darker turquoise. It's kind of got some of that brown mixed in there. See, there we go. And then you let that dry. You can stamp over it and distress it. You can sew around it. You can, it's, it's really cool. So I'm just gonna set that one aside. And that was just to show. But um, here I, I took some of my label stamps. That's the rectangle stamp and I just stamped them out. And then I did that exact same thing you know, just messily in those labels. And so let it dry. You can use that in creating um, on book pages. It looks really cool for your paint samples, you know, like that on coffee dyed paper. And this is probably just the same color. I just used the different thicknesses of paint on my brush. I think that was watercolor as well. Here's some more. So they're just fun. And fabric, I stamped on fabric and then I stamped that little label. This one's not stamped on, it's just fun. Oh yeah, it is on the back, I guess. Okay, but that's sides too. But they're just, they're really cool and you can then decorate with them. You know, <clears throat> you could simply staple this on this edge of a page or something just to add a little bit of color and interest to your projects. And then I did this with my stamps too. Uh, I made little color swatches and then I just stamped a little flower over them. So isn't that really cool? I think that's really fun. And you can just sit there and Go to town. Um, I think I actually stamped these first with a permanent ink on my strip and then I came in and just added the color. Um, here's some more. And then on um, bigger fabric pieces here. Okay, so I'm gonna just put those back in there. I thought we could use these like in fabric flips or we could shred them, you know, tear them. However, there's just different things. This is a really cool piece. I don't know why that's in there, but Okay, I guess I was stamping on fabric and stuff, so I don't know why those are in there. These are my color swatches, but isn't that fun? Just a little bit of stamping and yeah, so I think this is cool. It's just got like the same colors kind of in different hues and then a little bit of stamping off the side and how fun would that be on a fabric foot, right? It's cool. So I have enough of these because they're so fun to make. You'll start making them and everything will have paint swatches on. 
So I don't really know why these in, are in there. So I'm going to move those and those are going to get in the use it or lose it box. All right. So there is that. Let's see. How are we doing drawing here? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab that messy baby wipe here and try to pick some of the gold off there. Yep. It still leaves the gold splatter. And I'm just picking that. I think those messy splatters that I was like, uh oh, I think they turned out really cool. Okay. It's not completely dry dry yet, but I mean, we're getting there. We can, we can work with it, I think. Okay, so from this point, I really didn't have much of a plan besides now looking at it, I think. I think it's really cool, don't you guys think? And even part of our paintbrush, <laughs> the wood from the paintbrush. I'm going to try to use the deco edge trimmer here, which I struggle with this thing. And I think it looks like it needs a deco edge. So we're going to attempt it. I do want to leave some of that word border. So I'm trying to line that up here so I can give myself an equal border on each side because I think it's cool. No, if I had to guess, I'm going to be too far away on this one, but no, that's good. Okay. Like I said, they are a little tiny bit wet yet, so you want to be careful because it, they're really easy to rip. And, like, I'm not good with this cutter, so it makes me a little bit nervous. And now I got gold in there. I didn't, yeah, definitely wait. Okay, otherwise you're going to have a mess because now I'm going to have gold in my trimmer for the rest of its days. But whatever. But yeah, so if you take good care of your trimmer, don't do this and don't try. I clearly do not. But that's all right. Let's just roll with it. We're going to pretend it's all good and it came like that. Okay. Oh, I have two more sides here. I wonder, I have um, from Donna. Thank you, Donna. Alcohol wipes. I could probably shimmy one of those in there and clean that up. I don't know that they're not right here right now. Either. So I'm going to, I don't have the alcohol ones here, but I'm just going to try to get some of it out, I guess, right now, because now I'm feeling kind of guilty. Like, I should take better care of my things, you know? Oh yeah, it might be there for the rest of the days. Does this open? It should pop up. It would be a lot cooler if it did, but I don't think it does. Let's try the alcohol wipe. So there is, yeah. We're just going to have gold on there forever, which, whatever. I feel like I, I am such a mess. <laughs> Just a little mess everywhere. Okay, now I got that all wet. Just wipe that off really quick. Okay. So what I was thinking was this color, but now I might be, like I said, I might be completely wrong, but oh, I think it is cool. It looks kind of, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? This is a very thick paper, so I'm gonna, Fold this in half and double it. No, I can't do that. Right? We have to cut that in half because I'm going to have to flip it over on itself, right? I want the craft on the back for a writing spot. Okay, 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 okay. Try again. Doesn't really matter which way it's going here, I think. Six. Okay. Here, just very quickly. Okay, this is going to be my front. This is going to be my back. Okay. I could have done that the other way. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's just stick this down. We're just doubling it for sturdiness and thickness here. 
So if you have a thicker TIG base that you're going to be using, don't worry about doubling it. I'm going to stitch around it so that's good enough for me. Trying to line them up. Now I know they're not going to be perfect and we're going to cut things from it so it really doesn't have to be that perfect. Definitely doesn't line up on the top there, but I don't know if this paper is really cool. It's out of a pack I got from Hobby Lobby or something, but yeah, that, that does thicken it up. And once we sew, like, it'll be good. Oh, no. Okay, so now we're going to turn these this way. But I think they look kind of cool in there, don't they? I don't know. I think it does. And I don't even think I'm going to distress the edges. I think I'm going to leave it. You know, not ink the edges. I think it's got enough. It doesn't feel like it needs inked. Is it, I guess what I'm saying. Okay, these are... I didn't think that through at all. <laughs> How to get one tank base out of a 12 by 12 paper. Here we go. Okay. Um... It's okay. <laughs> It'd be fine. Let's just glue this on there. Okay, now which way do these words go on the back of the row? The mate, this is, okay, so this is going to be the top here. So I'm just going to glue that down to give me kind of a similar border. Oh, and then uh, I just stuck my BB wipe in my paint mess over there. So I really splattered everything. My counter is painted in these colors, though, so it is pretty. <laughs> okay, so... I think we need to use that deco edge trimmer again, don't we? I should have. Okay. We're just gonna go with it. Um, I'm gonna give myself a little extra room here on the top. So I can make a tag shape. We wouldn't have to. It doesn't have to be, you know. It doesn't have to have the tag top, but that's not going to be cool, close enough there. And I move. But do I have enough room now here to get that same edge on there? I hope so. A little bit. Okay. That's really cool now. You can make a Nero tag or something. That's good thickness. Uh, I'm thinking that now, I don't know if I'm going to like the top if I angle them, but we're going to try it. I was thinking that it wouldn't work if I did it this way, but I think it actually will. Well, why wouldn't it really? You know, I was going to try to cut them in my cutter. I don't know. <laughs> These straight edges might bug me. Um, with the deco edge, I'm not sure. No, I think it's okay. Now looking at it, did we, should have we inked it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to stitch around this so it's yeah maybe we should just off with the tag top I think something about it I just don't really like so I like that better okay not all tags have to have that. I'm going to go stitch around this. I'm going to save this one. Um, I will do that one off camera, but I, I'll do the same thing. But I'm going to go stitch in black thread around this. 
Okay, so I just decided after I stitched around it once, I was like, yeah, that's fine. I think I'll be good with just one because I already backed it. If I didn't already back it, so you wouldn't see this all over where you're supposed to be writing, um, I probably would have went around it a couple times. But I think it's okay. So now looking at it, I think I do need to ink it. <laughs> I don't know. And I still didn't change my dauber, so we're going to have crumblies, but I'm not going to do a really heavy ink on it because we didn't do that inside um, one. So just a little here and more so on the back, I think it needs it. The other one, when I do that one, maybe I'll do that one in a tag shape and cut it differently. Get rid of all these crumblies everywhere. Oh, goodness. Okay, so. Which way was up? I was trying to see the words. I can't see the words on the back. I backed it now. Um, oh, right here. This is the top. I did it. So I always start sewing on the bottom. So I did it wrong. But that is the way it's supposed to go. Um, let's see here now. Let's find our... That little tag is drying really cute, isn't it? That would be cute in the pocket with this same one. Let's see. We really wouldn't even have to do a whole lot with it. I think it's kind of cool itself and it just... It works. Um... I kind of like those colors. I mean, I do like those ones too, but that one looks really cool on there too, I think, doesn't it? I think, I think that might be the one that we're going to use. Okay. I think I'm going to back this crazy on black. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's see if I can tear it down a little bit without taking like I don't I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to need another piece of black that's not big enough. And I'm not sure that I have. Um, but if we did have... No, it needs the black, I think. I think... Oh, hey. Hold on. That's it. I think I like the black because of the black stitching. I have this piece of black fabric, but I don't have black paper here. Where is my painting shears? It's right here. Okay. I'm going to stitch around this, but I'm going to go ahead and stick it down so that I can trim it. Sometimes it doesn't really need a, like, oh, here's a bird, here's a butterfly, here's a flower. You know, it can just be something. <laughs> I'm grasping here, guys. But it's true, you know, it doesn't always have to have a, this is my focal point. You know, it's a bird or whatever. So this is going to be my focal point and it's a paint swatch. <laughs> Why not, right? We're going to try it anyways. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go stitch. Stitch, and then...
It would be cool just to stick it up here, wouldn't it? I'm gonna go stitch around it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I messy stitched around that a couple times and it's starting to fray here and I'm, I'm okay with that. I think I'm just gonna pull that one out of there. I really wish I would have made a tank shape. We're gonna probably ruin it right now, but it's kind of, I don't really like it, so. Oh, goodness. Well, that didn't help, but here we are. Honestly, I think it's so cool. Why couldn't we just put an eyelet on there and leave it just like that? And I think it's cool. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Okay, where is my crocodile? And so I just want this loose on there. I'm hoping I can go far enough down, which I don't know if I can. I can't. Unless I move that up, which isn't horrible, I think. Or do we like it down for there? We're going to have to move it down because I can't get an eyelid in there otherwise. Okay. Let's see here. Do we have one of those big black ones, I think? I think we do. I don't know if that's black or it's kind of gray, but it's going to be black today. So this is just going to get glued on there and I think I might just glue the top with the fabric tack. <clears throat> so that it still kind of flips up, you know, you can still see the paint underneath. That'll still peel up. I grabbed this because I think this fun purple color would be cool. Where is the end? I have no clue. We're just going to be really naughty and <laughs> cut a chunk out of there. I don't see myself using that as a solid piece. Anyways, those colors just here and there once in a while. This is really, really ratty and I think it's cool. So we're going to leave that. If I can get it pulled through here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. in my rug here because I have little pieces all over now. Kind of sticks up weird. <laughs> but I mean it's a tag. So there you go. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun and I have another one here to make another one with. So yeah. What do you guys think? I think that was fun. And you could, you know, that whole uh, 
focal point thing that I was talking about earlier. Let's just see, just for the heck of it. Um, let's see, get my coffee out of here, out of my way. I have no idea what I'm just grabbing out here, a butterfly or something. You know, you could easily, easily add that, which I do like that now, but I think we need a colorful one. So, here we go. Imagine yellow is cool. There's a lot of yellow and gold in here. That kind of blends, but it kind of looks cool, but it kind of covers our the whole point of the paint swatch thing, but I think it works. Let's just see if we have any... There we go, that turquoise in there. Um, so I'm just gonna try to white, uh, blend distress. Use your words, and use the right ones. Um, distress the the white off this butterfly here. So I'm too lazy to cut it, so that works. I do think I like it on there, and I think I like it just yeah, right there. I might move it up towards the top. No, we're, 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 we're gonna put it on the bottom. And I'm just going to add the glue here in the middle. And then when it dries, I can peel the wings up. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that was my paint tag. Um, that was definitely fun. I can tell you right now, I'm going to be making more of these. Those are super cool. Yeah, this will be fun to come in and stamp with black ink, you know, the contrast. But there's our tag. Um, I don't know. I like it. I, I do. It was fun. It was very fun. Um, but I just want to find a stamp really quickly here. I don't know. I just grabbed here. So I have it's all dusty here, it stays on ink. I don't know. Um, let's see. I think this one will be cool on there. Let's just I didn't grab a block. To get a solid impression so I know I could be stamping on foam and but now let's see here I hope that stamped well. Not at all. <laughs> Get gravy. What am I doing? Try again. Yeah, there's ink in it. Did I just wait too long? Well, now I have to try to line it up because you can see it faintly on there, so... Not the best, not the best, but I mean, you can see it, I guess, so now I'm afraid to add the words because here's where we could ruin it real quick. But we're going to go for it. I think it would be so cool. Let's, let's, I don't know, let's try and have black soot here in our archival ink. 
try that. Maybe that'll make a difference. You know, because those paints and stuff, and they might not be 100% dry yet either, you know, the fibers in the paper. So. Oh, I think it's cool. Is that cool? Fun. And how you could turn that into a card, you know, like a greeting card if you don't know what to do. Just paint some paper and splatter it and stamp on it and see what you get. But I think that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to cut this video here. I could play with this kind of thing all day. This is definitely not my style, but I definitely do like it. What do you guys think? All right, thanks for watching. Take care, and we will see you soon. Actually, we'll see you tomorrow.